Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight. Because we've got a book called Marvin Gets Mad by Joseph Theobald. Now, I've got the book in my house which is Marvin Wanted More, but I've just found this book. I did not know it existed. So let me read it to you now. It's Marvin Gets Mad by Joseph Theobald. One perfect morning, Marvin and Molly found a tree full of big juicy apples. There was one apple that Marvin really wanted, but no matter how high he jumped, he couldn't quite reach it. Maybe it will fall off, thought Marvin. He waited and waited and waited, but the apple did not fall. Eventually, Marvin fell asleep. When Marvin woke up, the apple was gone. Molly was eating it. I wanted that apple, shouted Marvin. Sorry, said Molly, I didn't know. Marvin was not happy. Don't get mad with me, said Molly. There are lots more apples in the tree. I wanted that apple, shouted Marvin, and you've eaten it. Marvin was so mad, he grew mad teeth, mad horns, mad feet, and a mad tail. I want my apple. Calm down, (laughs) said Molly. No, shouted Marvin, and he stamped on the flowers. He knocked over the chicken shed. He frightened the ducks and bit a cow's tail. Marvin didn't know what he wanted anymore. He stamped his big mad feet and let out a big mad bar. As Marvin stamped harder and harder, the ground began to rumble underneath him, and suddenly... Crack! The ground opened up and swallowed him whole. Marvin fell deeper and deeper and landed with a thud all alone in the dark. Bah! shouted Marvin, but no one could hear him. He tried to break the wall, but that only hurt his head. Marvin was all alone. He closed his eyes and remembered the perfect day in the meadow. I wish Molly was here, he thought. Gradually, Marvin felt less mad. When Marvin opened his eyes, there was Molly. I'm sorry I was so angry, said Marvin. That's okay, said Molly. I came to find you. I thought you might be lost. And look, I found another big juicy apple. It's for you. Thank you, said Marvin, and Molly showed Marvin the way back up to the meadow. Everything was perfect again, but Marvin didn't want an apple any more. He wanted a pear, but no matter how high he jumped, he couldn't quite reach it. The end of Marvin Gets Mad by Joseph Theobald. Here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and mad little sheep all over the world. Good night.